there, Leo. Welcome to your mid-month reading for July of 2021. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in. So as always, this is a general reading. Please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. We could be talking to a cross watcher here, so please keep that in mind. Also, as always, please make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. To those of you that are new here, welcome. My name is Eric. It is so great to meet you. Okay, kids, let's just get into this, Leo. Um, I have your pre-shuffle here, so let's talk about this. <clears throat> so, Leo, I feel like you're very focused right now. You're very focused on your desires. You're very focused on your dreams. And I'm hearing, I did hear for you, the stakes are high. I don't think they're as high as maybe you're making them out to be. But what? But really, and not to devalue your feelings or anything, not to diminish your feelings or to diminish your point of view. But the reason why I feel like I heard the stakes are high is not necessarily because they actually are that high. It's just how much value you're putting into whatever it is you're trying to create for yourself. And again, I'm not trying to say that in a way to say you're putting too much value, you're overvaluing. No, this is something very, 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 very fucking important to you, Leo. And I get it. That's why the stakes are high. The stakes are so high. At the bottom of the deck, you all, your overall energy, you do have the star. Underneath the star, you do have the king of pentacles. Okay, and then there's temperance. Now, the king of pentacles is, I feel like this is business for you, okay? This is a business venture or like you're starting, you're creating a business or you're just trying to create a better life for yourself or something like that. Okay, that's the king of pentacles. But then underneath the king of pentacles is temperance to the Four of Swords, to the Magician. Spirit is kind of coming through with a little bit of a warning, okay? Don't put too much focus on the material aspects of life. I mean, obviously, you're going to need certain material aspects. You need money so that you can pay your rent, so that you can pay your bills, so that you can put food on the table, so that you can put clothes on your back, so that you can afford the comforts of life, so that you can do the things that you need to do. Okay, that's fine. We know we... Okay, we get that. But your self-worth is not directly tied to how much money that you have or whatever your status is like this that and a third like just keep that in check that's what spirit is asking you for i know we understand the stakes are high but you are running the risk of sabotaging yourself if you put too much effort or too much focus on the material the material aspects will come the money will come the the the, the support will come the financial independence will come that's all coming here okay that's all what you, that is what it's part of your manifestation. Don't get us wrong. It's part of your manifestation, Leo. All right? But just be very conscious. Be very careful of putting too much focus on the material aspects. aspects. And especially right now, I'm feeling like in the beginning, ask or the preliminary, in, in the beginning of your manifestation or whatever, at least at this moment, the material representation of it is not important. What is important is that you keep your blinders on Two of Swords, and you stay focused on your trajectory, Eight of Wands, Three of Wands, Eight of Pentacles, and continue the momentum, continue preparing your, your, uh, your, your dock for your ship to come in, continue to keep the momentum going of whatever it is you're building, continue to keep doing the work, keep your head down, and, well, I mean, like, don't, don't diminish yourself, but stay focused, stay focused focused leo king of wands there you are officially the king of wands represents you leo but of course it could represent any other fire sign okay stay focused stay the course but stay consciously aware to balance your passion and your drive with your desires for material comforts okay we are not saying to you that you need to stop. You need to stop wishing for that because that's all. No, 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 no. You are allowed to have these things, but do not place your sense of self-worth or your sense of accomplishment or how far you've come or whether you're actually getting it done or not. Do not focus on the material in that sense because that will come. Keep in mind that the King of Pentacles is a type of energy that does not develop overnight. To get To get to the King of Pentacles state, you have, it takes time. Think of the King of Pentacles less as a person with millions and millions of dollars and a grand estate and this big ass, like multi-million dollar business, blah, blah, all the ma that material stuff. Don't look at the King of Wands, King of Pentacles that way. Look at the King of Pentacles as um, 
an oak tree. A redwood tree. Fully grown, fully developed, fully matured redwood tree. Out in like the Amazon rainforest. That shit took hundreds of years to grow. I'm not saying that's as long as it's going to take you to get where you're going, Leo. Slow your roll. But at the same time, the metaphor here is no one gets to the King of Pentacles state overnight. Not you, not me, and not that redwood tree either. We all had to start somewhere. We all had to start as a seed and grow into a sapling and then just, and then get to that. Do you get it? It takes time. But keep your blinders on. I like that, Leo. I like how driven you are right now. I like how focused you are right now. Keep that shit, bro. Sis. Don't let anybody stop you. Don't let anybody get in your way. Especially not your own self. Yes? All right, Leo. Good talk. I just heard that. Good talk. Okay. Cute. I'm going to reshuffle this. Let me give this five shuffles. And then we are going to get into the rest of your reading for your mid-month. Yeah, please make sure. Also, make sure to keep in mind to check your sun, moon, and rising sign as that's going to help give you a, a greater focus, okay? A greater look as to what's going on for you here this month or in this session, whenever these readings resonate for you. Also, maybe even check your Venus sign, yeah? For love, specifically. Five shuffles for you, Leo. One. <clears throat> July mid-month for my Leos. This is two. Mid-month messages for my Leos here for the month of July 2021. This is three. Excuse me. This is three. This is four. For my Leos. Sun, moon, rising. And maybe Venus or Venus. Oh shit. Was that four? This is five. Fuck it. Five. Last shot. <laughs> Sorry, Leo. I lost count. It doesn't matter. That's it. We're going with the flow here. Whoops. Ooh. Uh, cards are being weird. Sorry, Leo. Boop. All right. Overall energy for you, Leo, is the Knight of Cups. Your heart is in the right place. Um, you're moving. Okay. You're moving forward passionately, Leo. Um, I feel like this is why you're so driven because I feel like whatever it is you're driven by, driven towards, it's within your heart. Yeah. Underneath the Knight of Cups, you have Judgment. This is serious, Leo. Underneath the Judgment, you do have the Two of Pentacles. Underneath the Two of Pentacles is the Ace of Pentacles. Interesting. Okay. I'm, uh, uh, okay. Um, <clears throat> give me a second here. Ah, yes. All right. Okay. So whatever it is you're moving forward with, Leo, it's coming from your heart. That's why you're so passionate about it. That's why you're so driven. Because this speaks to the truth of who you are, or this speaks to something within your soul, within your heart. Okay, this is what's driving you forward. This is what this is. This could even be a life calling. Whatever it is you're working on manifesting, either it's a life calling, or at least, at least this is just something that you're being called to at this moment in your life. But you're needing to keep it balanced. You have this the Knight of Cups and Temperance, I'm sorry, and Judgment with the Two of Pentacles. There's something about ju juggling here. And at the bottom of the deck, you do have the Ace of Pentacles, but underneath the Ace of Pentacles is the Devil and Strength. Nine of Swords, Ace of Wands. There's feelings of fear, like you're not going to be able to get this off the ground, like you're not doing this right, like you're not going to be able to get there. That's this Devil energy. And that's your ego also. Also, Strength is representing you, Leo. You are being represented by the, by the strength card and then the, the, the ego, the toxic elements of this, the fear is being represented by the devil. And I, I can't, I, I can't, I'm not picking up anything other than that is what needs to be balanced here. Your opportunity, the prospect of whatever it is, the money aspect of it, whatever, and the devil, something about it. 
Something needs to be balanced there, Leo. I'm not really being able to put that into words. Hopefully that makes sense to you. Okay. Let's move forward. First set of surrounding energies for you, Leo, is the Four of Wands. This is good. This is union energy. I'm also feeling a celebration. I'm getting specifically, Leo, that whatever it is you're working on here, you're off to a really great start. There is a solid foundation here that you can continue to work from, okay? Four of Wands is coupled with the Emperor. Yeah, beautiful. Aries energy, okay, but you're off to a great start. That's what I want to say with this. You're a leader. You're a trailblazer. There's something unique about this. There's something individual about this, Leo. You're in control, and I feel like you're controlling it well. You're doing what's right. You're doing the right thing. These are all things that I'm getting from this emperor energy. You are the authority here, which makes sense. I mean, it's your life, right? But somehow, Leo, there's something about this that's just like, you are fully in control. You know exactly what it, is, what it is you're doing. You know where you're going and you're leading very well. I also am he I'm hearing and feeling you're leading by example, okay? <clears throat> okay, second set of surrounding energies for you, Leo. You have the Six of Swords. Yo, and for some of you, okay, for some of you, this is exactly what I was saying earlier. Whatever it is you're manifesting for yourself, it heavily involves manifesting a better brand new life for yourself six of swords this is like a we gonna get about this this ghetto type energy not to i mean like no shade no offense or anything like that like but that's what this feels like we are gonna get up out of this ghetto we are gonna get up out of this mess we are gonna get up out of this head hell hole my me my family my brethren this that and the third we all deserve better and damn it we're gonna get it that's what I'm feeling here for you, Leo. That's what I'm getting with this Six of Swords energy. And that's also why I feel like this has a lot to do. This is heavily influenced by money, status, material aspects, which are not bad in and of themselves. But when you put too much focus on it and when you start to derive your sense of self-worth from it, that's when it becomes toxic. You're not wrong for wanting to have these things. You're not wrong for wanting to strive toward to get that thing. You're not wrong for wanting to have a big house for your family and whomever for y'all to live in, to luxuriate, judge, and all that. But you're not wrong for that. But your self-worth has nothing to do with any of that, okay? All right. Six of Swords is coupled with the Nine of Wands, Leo. Keep fucking going. Don't you stop now. Don't stop keep going okay keep working towards it your efforts are paying off they're already paying off leo i'm not exactly sure if you're able to see that yet some of you are maybe some of you aren't but your efforts are already paying off keep moving keep striving ahead don't look back don't stop now your challenge leo is the five of cups yeah okay uh dealing with some sort of emotion dealing with some sorrow here Releasing the past, releasing the pain, the hurt, going through the grieving process as you're moving forward from rough waters to calmer waters. Uh, uh, please keep in mind, Leo, that the grieving process, whatever grief you need to move through, is 100% part of this process. It's just as much a part of the process as you taking the actual physical steps to build or manifest whatever it is you're working on building or manifesting, okay? Don't, don't shirk your responsibilities when it comes to handling and dealing with your emotions, okay? It's just as necessary as every other process or every, every other part of this process. Five of Cups is coupled with the Three of Cups. <clears throat> there are some relationships you are going to need to leave behind. There are allegiances that you're going to need to leave behind. Some of you are struggling with that. Some of you, it is specifically family. I did get that specifically. I heard it specifically. Some of you are going to have to leave your families behind. And that's because they've abandoned you somehow. At some point in your existence, at some point in your relationship, there, there is abandonment here for some of you. For others of you, this is celebration when it comes to dealing with your emotions. That's kind of like a, a, like a last bit thing, a diminished, little diminished thing. Okay, 
But for others of you, this is literally having to deal with the sorrow of leaving some sort of collective energy, group, communal, whatever. You're, you have to deal with the breakup of that. The release from that. Okay. Closing message or potential outcome for you, Leo. In your mid-month reading here, you have the Three of Pentacles. Building. Teamwork. Teamwork. Growth. Mastering your identity. Mastering yourself. Working on building. Building it. Doing it. Crafting it. Okay, the Three of Pentacles is coupled with the Two of Cups. There is a teamwork element that... Yes. <clears throat> I was just going to say, Leo, there is a teamwork element to this. But this is between you and yourself. The Two of Cups is representing your bond with yourself. The Three of Pentacles is representing your work, your self-mastery. This is self-mastery here. This is you working on rebuilding a life for yourself. That's what I'm hearing. And you're more capable of accomplishing this, the better your relationship with, is with yourself. The better your relationship with yourself is. You are more capable, you are, that, you are more and more capable of building this, the better your relationship with yourself is. So if you are sitting here watching this reading and all of this is resonating with you except for that part, where you're sitting there saying, well, actually, my relationship with myself ain't all that good, so I guess I'm just fucked. No. Start working on it. You're not too late. You haven't missed the boat. Okay? You're not going to miss the boat. Because your manifestation, this ace of pentacles, the realization of this, the, the, the ultimate, whatever this ultimately will become in the future from going from this ace of pentacles straight on down the line to the ten of pentacles which is ultimately where we are looking to end up the completion of this process the fulfillment of this process is directly related to your relationship with yourself and how you can work in tandem as a team with your own self masculine and feminine good and bad light and dark all these pieces of you your manifestation is directly related to that. So even if your relationship with yourself right now, Leo, isn't the best, start working on that. That should be your point of focus. Because the more you can cultivate a better relationship with yourself moving forward, the better and more successful your manifestations are going to be and you are going to be. Okay? Okay. I'm going to leave it there, Leo. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. I love you guys so much. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your month. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading very, very soon. Yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye.